Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn any Android phone into a hotspot, and which means it will become a portable router. So how you do this is you download FoxFi. FoxFi is an amazing app that I've uh, come to know and love um, just because, you know, these companies like Verizon, Sprint, um, and AT&T have been like charging add-on for hotspots. Now, at sometimes at t at sometimes Sprint and T-Mobile don't do it, but it's still just not right for them to even do this in the first place. Um, so the way to get around it is by downloading an app called FoxFi. Now the best part about this app is you do not need to root your device to be able to do this. So most of these hotspot apps you'll see you have to have root, uh, uh, which basically means just kind of like changing the way your device structure is is the simplest way to explain it um, to actually use it. With FoxFi, you can use stock Android, the exact way that it comes out of the box, um, to use it. So, I'm going to open up FoxFi. And what's really actually kind of neat about it is a couple of things. One, it actually allows you to name the network and set up a password for it, which most of these hotspot apps do not allow you to do that. So the fact that it does is really nice. Now, the other amazing thing about it that a lot of you techies will love is that it allows you to... Uh, use infrastructure mode. What that means is basically that um, it acts as literally a router. Uh, most of these portable um, uh, hotspot devices uh, make it an ad hoc, I think that's how you would pronounce it. i uh, always seen it written. Uh, so it doesn't actually allow, it's just you know a peer-to-peer -peer connection instead of um, a router that actually sets up IP addresses and everything like that, which this does. So it's pretty nice that it does that. So now I just activated it on the device over here. And I'm going to now turn my tablet on. And then I'm going to connect to it. Just to show you guys how it works real quick. So as you can see, I now have Gummy Ship, which is the uh, one I've set up. And my password is Keyblade. And the nice part is, you know, it'll tell you right then and there. And you can connect to it. It obtains the IP address. And now it's connected. Now I'm getting internet from my phone to my tablet. And this will work with a laptop and anything else. Now, the one thing I will say is, you know, guys, please don't use, like, Netflix and all these data things. Because that is what's uh, stopping apps from this uh, from being on the market um, a lot. Simply because people that use a lot of data, you know, Verizon, Sprint, at t are catching these people. And that's why we have all this throttling going on. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm definitely on the side of uh, being able to have more data than what we have right now. But, I mean, all these, like, you know, stopping grandfather thing and everything like that. The people that just take advantage of it are the reason why uh, it's ruining it for all of us. So, you know, that's just one thing I kind of leave you with caution on that. But I definitely use it when, like, I'm at, like, a hotel and I don't want to pay for internet because they're ridiculous rates. I'll use this. I'll use this uh, sometimes when I need to do a quick report and I'm on the go for my job. I'll definitely do it, uh, use it for that. So... I have used it on uh, really times when I need it, and it works great, and I definitely recommend it. So this has been how to turn your Android phone into a hotspot. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.